So today I'm really excited because I am planning to do some decorating around my house. Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm really excited because I am planning to do some decorating around my house and show you some of the things that I have recently purchased um, antiquing and you know like just when I've been out and about and um, I've been meaning to do this video for quite a while so I have quite a few things to share with you um, it's been a really busy summer so um, yesterday I actually was out I had to go down to Knoxville Tennessee to take my daughter Emily her puppies back they had gone to Florida and I was babysitting um, their dogs and so since I was down there, I decided to, I actually was planning to go antiquing and then ended up not going antiquing. But I did go to Target and a couple other places. So I thought I'd share with you, I got some home decor pieces and I thought I would share with you the things I picked up while I was in Knoxville yesterday. And, um, and then we'll get into decorating with these new pieces as well as the antiques and things that I have picked up over the last couple of months and um, just have a lot of fun decorating. Okay, so the first place I went was Target and they had clearance, um, you know, on the end cap, a lot of times they have clearance stuff. Um, and I got a couple of things off of there. I got this wreath and it was on clearance for $7. Um, I think I'm going to use it in my family room. It's not very big, but, um, I think I'm going to replace a wreath that I have down there that's more of a winter wreath with this one, which is more of an everyday um, everyday wreath. So that was the first thing I got. And then I got two of these ferns. Um, they were on clearance for $5. And um, I don't know, like, like I like real plants and I have a lot of real plants um, in my house, like this beautiful beautiful one behind me, but, um, but I do like using little, um, faux plants in places that don't necessarily get enough sunlight where I just need some greenery. And I think I'm going to use these in the family room. I'm not positive yet. Um, they also might end up in one of the girls' rooms upstairs, but, um, but I thought they were just really um, basic. I could put them into a basket to give them a different base or even a, another like pot or planter. Um, but it's got these um, like nice ceramic bases as it is. And um, they were regularly $10. So I thought that was a good deal. Okay, and then I went, oh, and then also at Target, I got a new throw pillow. <laughs> I thought this one was cute. Um, it says, let's get out there. And um, it was $12. They had a couple of others that I almost got, then I decided they were a little bit too cheesy for me. They had like a stuffed duck. And, um, and then they also had one that had like boat oars on it, which I, had, I may end up going back and getting that one. I don't know. I thought about it um, because I have the lake, lake side cabin theme down in my family room. Um, I thought that that one might work. But this one in particular, I just felt like was a lot of fun. I loved the fun color of it. I'm probably going to put it, um, or I may put it on like the rocking chair downstairs. It's um, solid on the back. It has like this kind of fringe edge. And it is a, the texture of the fabric is, like it's, it's kind of textured. Um, so just casual and fun. For our family room I really like it it's pretty soft it doesn't chop or anything like that but but I thought it was really cute and for $12 um, I feel like this is one that I can use year-round um, maybe not during Christmas time but you know for the rest of the year I feel like this one this one will work pretty well okay and then um, I went to home goods and a lot of times I go in home, home goods and end up walking out with nothing um, I have this thing for strawberries. I really, really love strawberries. And I have like 
recipe boxes, my, my two recipe boxes that I have, have strawberries on them. And um, I don't know, I, I saw these, oh, what do you call them? Um, oven mitts. <laughs> I saw these oven mitts with the strawberries on them and just thought they were so sweet. Um, I love the colors. Red is one of my favorite colors and I love pops of red throughout the house. Um, they were $6.99 and um, I didn't really need them. <sighs> but it was strawberries and I don't know. I just, they just were speaking to me. So I got those. And then going along with the strawberry theme, um, I also got... Um, this strawberry picture frame. Isn't that cute? It's got the little scalloped edge and um, little strawberries on the edge. I think I'm going to use this in my butler's pantry around the um, tiered tray. In fact, I'm considering doing like a strawberry themed, a strawberry themed tiered tray for, um, for the next month. And um, and then I'll change it out to my pineapple theme. So um, that was that. That was, so this was $6.99. And um, I just thought it was very sweet. Summary. And then they had these like measuring spoons. There were strawberries. And I thought these would be cute on my tiered tray or in that, that area in my butler's pantry. Um, so I'm planning to use those there, not necessarily to actually cook with them. Um, I just thought they were really cute and would be fun, fun decor piece for, for the butler's pantry. Okay, and then finally at Home Goods, I picked up just a really basic, um, I needed another one of these strainers and this one was $3.99. Cuisinart brand, um, I felt like $3.99 was a good deal. I don't know. I mean, if they sell these at Dollar Tree, maybe, I don't know. But um, but I liked this one, and for $3.99, I decided to bring it home. Okay, and then finally, I went to um, Cracker Barrel specifically to look to see if they had any 4th of July decor that I could use. And, um, and they didn't have as much as I was hoping. And yesterday was Sunday. Like I had, um, and the reason I say that is because I, you know, I was like, I'll run over to Hobby Lobby. And then I realized they're not open on Sundays. So, um, which is fine, but I had forgotten about it. And I was a little bit disappointed because, you know, I have to drive to get to Hobby Lobby. So um, I decided to stop at Cracker Barrel because they always have, you know, cute little decor pieces in their shop and um, see what they had for the 4th of July. And they did have some cute things. Um, I got... A beautiful paperweight with the flag in it and I'm probably going to use this in my family room this was $7.99 and it was 25% off um, so I got the paperweight and then I also got this like little book the Constitution of the United States and this one was $9.95 and it was also 25% off yesterday so um, I decided to get it. It just has the Constitution in it. And um, I really liked that. So I actually think I might put these together um, and use them maybe on a table like that or something. I don't know. But we'll see. Um, I'm going to start decorating and take you along with me. And let's, um, let's see what we come up with. So let's go. Okay, so in my mud room, I have this basket, and I've had this um, hanging here for quite some time. It has some faux hydrangeas in it, and um, I think this basket was in a previous video. It's very sweet, I like it a lot. I've had it up for months, and I thought that today I would um, replace it with this patriotic straw bag that I picked up. And, uh, Dust 
some of the cobwebs here. Yeah, so I thought this would be cute to hang it that. And then take maybe a couple of these faux flowers and stick them in here. So let's see. Okay, so what do you think? I think I like it. That was a little bit harder <laughs> to arrange than I expected, but I think it I think it's okay. Let me give you a better look. absolutely love this it's huge but I couldn't be happier um, this piece is amazing this this flag is amazing okay I am I'm actually cooking dinner but I realized I didn't update you guys on the mudroom um, after I, I played around with it after I had after I was done videoing I kind of played around with the mudroom a little bit so I wanted to give you a real quick look at what I finished with in the mudroom and y'all don't pay too close attention to my kitchen. You can see it around the corner, but um, I'm in there working and it's kind of a mess right now. is one of the prettiest things I have ever ever purchased um, I absolutely absolutely love it it was definitely worth the money um, that I spent on it and um, yeah the patina of that flag is just it's just one of the prettiest things I've seen I'm very patriotic so um, I just absolutely love it and I'm very happy with the way this turned out I ended up taking down my red gingham apron, decided that that was it's so cute, but decided that this was a better look for right now, and um, I'm real happy with it. So I'm just really happy with the mudroom the way it turned out. Okay, so it's actually the next day. I ended up um, needing to do other things yesterday evening and didn't get to finish all the decorating. So. Um, I am down in my family room and I have a whole bunch of like decor that I've been collecting over the last few months, you know, here and there. And um, I thought I would do a summer decorate with me down in the family room. Um, we'll see what we can get done. I'll give you a like a overview real quick of what the room currently looks like. And um, it hasn't really changed much since my last family room decorating video, but I'll give you a kind of a refresher just so you know what it um, currently looks like and then you can see the changes. down here and um, here's what I have on my table so just things that some of this stuff I have had you know that's just belonged to me for a long time some of it um, I've picked up recently 
So let's get started. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I actually ordered a new banner for this area here. Um, some of you might remember I had a Christmas banner up during the holidays and really, really loved it. So I wanted one for the warmer months and I bought it from Vintage Green Limited on Etsy. And it's this just really sweet garland. I'm so excited about it. So I've been waiting, um, I've been waiting to hang this up so I could share it with you guys. Um, Anyway, it's got like cherries and gingham and florals on it in blue, red, and green. Um, just so sweet. I just noticed that they really should have been ironed, but, um, but I think it's cute. Okay, I have this Campfire Marshmallows tin that I talked about in the last video. It's apparently kind of a rare find and um, collectible. So I was really excited to find it and I just think it definitely suits the vibe in my room. Um, trying to decide where to put it though. My sister-in-law gave me, um, she has a huge collection of milk glass and she let me pick out a couple of pieces. Um, she's downsizing. And um, this is one of the faces that I got from her. And I thought I would put some of these little American flags in it. I just bought them so they're kind of curled up. Um, probably should have, probably should have thought ahead, but I did not. So hopefully gravity will do its thing and I'll get one more. Hopefully gravity will will help me out. Okay, and I've had this vintage holly wreath on this window since the holidays. Um, and I've just kind of left it there. But I got this little wreath from Target on clearance sale the other day. So I thought I would replace the holly one with this one since it's more uh, everyday, everyday greenery. And I just have a command hook on the mirror to hang wreaths. I have this rug I've actually ended up never using. I bought it last fall, I think, at the Burlap Bunny. There's a video, um, or no, where did I get this? Never mind. Anyway, I bought it last fall, and I thought I would use it in my kitchen. Ended up not liking the way it looked. So I thought that since it has this stripe, this blue stripe in it, that it would work well for the 4th of July. And I have this red and green rug down here that I've had. Um, I actually picked it up at the Goodwill around Christmas time. And I've had that down there ever since. I will probably put this back out um, this fall and um, or closer to Christmas again. And But I thought that this one would work for the 4th of July summer we don't use the fireplace in the summer really, so. Need sweet.
Okay, and you'll remember this pillow I got from Target um, this past week. And so they probably currently have them in your Target if you like it. It was $12 and um, I thought it would look nice. I actually, I think I had said that I was thinking about putting it on my rocking chair, but I decided I think this is the best spot for it. Um, I think the colors work well, work well together. So, and then I actually have like this little star pillow that I picked up at Target a year or two ago. And um, I thought I might put this on the couch. And then I also have this little pillow that I got from Target um, that I think I'm gonna put over Hmm, I have to think about it. I don't know if I like this down here. Okay, so I still have an assortment of things I need to give some thought to. I think I'm going to replace my tablecloth that I have here. Actually needs to be laundered anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna replace this with a red and white check. That I have I have here and um, this is actually a painting table I mean uh, this is actually my tablecloth I use very often on, on picnics um, I've had it for a few years now really really love it and um, I thought for the summer it would be fun down here I actually have more than one of these so um, let's see how it looks I'm gonna clear off the table A few weeks ago, Target had, in their dollar spot, they had a bunch of like camping themed stuff. And I picked up a few things and I thought they were just so cute. I have this mug rack that I had Christmas mugs on during the holidays for our hot chocolate bar. And um, I haven't had anything to put on this mug rack since. The mugs we use like in our coffee bar and everything are upstairs in the butler's pantry. So I've really, um, because the hot chocolate bar down here was new for this year. Uh, I've never done that before. Um, I had collected Christmas mugs and then I didn't have anything else to put on them. So I have this mug rack. And Target had these really, really cute little mugs. It says, let's go outside. And I got, I got several of them. Um, they also had some that said, hike more, happy camper. And enjoy life one national park at a time. I thought these were so cute. So I'm going to put these on my mug rack. I need to still take the label off the bottom, but that's okay. We'll pretend. That's just cute. Okay, I'll give you a better look in a minute. Okay, and I've had this as a centerpiece on my table. I think I'm going to use this, but maybe re rework it a little bit. I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous video, but this little red tin, when I, I purchased it, I think at a yard sale maybe, I don't know, but it had this little sticker inside of it that said it was used on the prop. It was used as a prop on the movie Fried Green Tomatoes. So if you've ever seen that movie, it's such a great movie. But um, anyway, it's just kind of a, <laughs> I mean, who, who really cares? But. Anyway, that's um, just kind of a fun, fun little fact. 
Okay, I have this blue bandana. Sometimes I tie these around Marlo's neck, but I thought that this might be fun. little guy on the table but I think I'm going to put him over here in my little blueberry basket we'll peek, let him peek out of there and speaking of blueberries where'd that plate go I think maybe maybe since it's not springtime anymore I can replace the white robin with my blueberry plate Basket. I have not actually shared in any of my videos. I picked it up in May on Fis can't talk on Facebook Marketplace, and um, it's like a really cute little basket. I paid ten dollars for it. On the top, it has bills carved into it. Actually, I think it's it's not actually carved. It's like a like a paint pen bills. And then it says bills here. So I don't know. I don't know if somebody used this basket to keep their bills in. Maybe at one point. I don't know. But I think he's kind of cute. So where should we put him? I actually might, might end up hanging it up there. Hmm. I've been trying to collect baskets without any luck. I haven't found anything I like to put in that space up there. Hmm. Or maybe it could go over here on my little 
drop leaf table. I need to take my price tags off. I need some Goo Gone. I've been kind of lazy about that. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to give that a little bit more thought too. So this little striped bath, um, striped pillow, I ended up putting stacking on top of these my tin and my wood box here so I kind of like it there I have my strawberry basket that I have not decided what to do with honestly may not have room down here for for this I don't know Maybe I can stack it on top of this basket. Oh, I stuck some little flags in here. This is my vintage watering can. And then I have this Loggin Burger basket that my mom bought for me decades ago. Um, and boy, it needs to be dusted. But I'll do that later. So maybe I could stack this. Okay, so I think I might like that. And then just put this here. Or does that just look cluttered? Maybe I need to relocate the watering can. Also, you can see I need to get a something to cover the feet of that Christmas tree. These are trees that I decided I was going to leave up year round because I just have kind of like a tree theme going in here. Maybe I should move these books. I don't look at the dust. I don't dust nearly as often as I probably should. Um, but I stay so busy. It's kind of the last thing on my to-do list. Okay, so maybe maybe that looks good. Okay, so I moved that. Okay, I think I like that better. What do you guys think? Is that good? Okay, and then we're getting close to kind of being done. I had put this little vignette together in this basket for spring, and um, I thought it turned out really cute, but it's not for summer, so I need to do something else. Get rid of the pillow. What if I take my husband's old binoculars like the 70s and I could okay let's start it work hang on maybe this would be a good a good place to put I have these little postcards I got from Target sad oh well I forgot I have this tur beautiful turtle shell. I believe my daughter Hannah had found this. Um, she's always been really into nature. So maybe that would look nice in here. I like that. That's a good, good size for this basket. I think I'm gonna call it good. Okay, I said it was good, but then I actually noticed that I had um, my daughter Hannah's old binoculars. They're actually broken, but um, they were from when we used to go camping all the time when they were kids and do board watching and stuff. So um, I added in her binoculars and I did go ahead and add in a flag too. So I'll give you a better look. 
So we have the turtle shell, binoculars, the binocular case, the little postcards, and the American flag. So I think that turned out cute. I like it. I'm happy with it. I don't know if you guys remember a few videos back, I had bought this little alphabet quilt and um, I just thought it was so cute. And you know, I don't have babies at home anymore. Uh, in fact, my my youngest has gone off to college. So, um, but when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. And um, I'll give you a better look. So it was just this like sweet little alphabet quilt. I picked it up at a thrift store. Um, can't remember what I paid for it. It wasn't very much. I think it was like seven or eight dollars. And um, anyway, it's like a little floor quilt for, for babies to sit on or play, play on and um, have their tummy time. And I really just loved it. So I have decided to keep it in the family room so that so that when I have my, my grandbabies visit, they have this sweet little quilt to, um, to use. And I'm just gonna put it on my quilt stack here, right on top. So I think that's a good, a good way to, to use that and enjoy it. Okay, we're almost done with everything on the table. Um, Target had these like pennant, is that what they're called, pennant banners um, in their camping. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use these down here or not. I, I have thought about it. I'm not sure, I thought they were really cute, but I'm not sure where I want to put them. So that may be, that may have to be for another video. Okay, and then Target also had these like go hike signs and camper signs. Um, I thought this was really cute. They were $3 each in the dollar spot. And y'all, if you haven't read this, this month's um, June and July Country Living Old School Summer, I'm telling you, this is such a good, such a good issue. Highly recommend. Okay, so I have this red and white check placemat. When I bought this, I only bought the one because I wanted to use it uh, not as placemats like you would traditionally use, but I thought I would use it maybe down here this week to make a little vignette. Oh, I also have these, these two little milk bottles that I've had. They're antiques. I've had for a really long time. I think I'm going to try to Okay. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Okay. I think I am done. I think I'm happy with the room. I think it's turned out very sweet for summer. I can always tweak things, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll be nice for our 4th of July celebration coming up and we will be down in here I think because it's the the weather's going to be pretty pretty hot and my brother-in-law um you know has been sick he's had cancer so I think we're going to be hanging out in this room for the 4th of July and um then probably like after we eat and play some games maybe go watch some fireworks if it doesn't rain but um Anyway, I am happy with this room, so I'm going to give you a final walkthrough and um, show you what I ended up with, and um, you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below.
So that's all for today's video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and decorating my family room for summer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I love this space. It makes me really happy and I love spending time with my family down here. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to hit like um, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love hearing from you in the comments. So I will see you in the next video real soon.